Server's vanguard picks up a backpack, gets halfway back to the pickup zone, loses his shields. So what does he do? He charges. <sighs> no charge. Charge, big backpack drop. Yes, everyone knows that. So if you're gonna charge or cloak or something, don't pick up the backpack. And you should have seen him when we were supposed to bunker down and upload some intel. Vanguard charge away. Upload goes slow. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with a Krogan? Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Ragnar encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday. Tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No. I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When c -Sec got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. The c -Sec guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me and why is that because I was on fire you know from the car come on Shepard keep up right sorry so how did they catch you got hungry bought some noodles grunt you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire fine I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So... How were those noodles? A little spicy. You're my hero, Grunt. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? No, no, I'm not 
making fun of you. The arcade sounds great. You'll win me a stuffed toy. Huh. Now it sounds even better. I can't wait till tomorrow either. here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the Council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha-ha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the Council! This is our chance! Oh shit, Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> how it happened, which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, I'm trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives. Myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. standing here drooling over some car. Well, at least his robot friend had taste in cars. Nice.
Miss Shepard here? Hi, Mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I, I just felt I needed to... I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, son. So proud. Thanks, Mom. I have to go. I know. Be safe. Please. Goodbye, sweetheart. You clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. Picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier, about having a normal life. Damn, I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? The only difference between us and everyone else is that our to-do list is longer. We need to let that go tonight. Let it go? That's harder than it sounds. I know, but this is the perfect place to try. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble.
What can I get for you? Liquors, ale, spirits, you name it, I got it. Rex? What are you doing here? Uh, escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those Pajak shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in. I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. And another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. It stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you? They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Urdna. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchanka wants a piece of me. And Bakara is no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me, I've been in every position in the past few days. Here are your drinks. And a bag of ice. Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And then going through it. I'll drink to that. It means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You've got a family now. A really big family. Ah, more ice! I know that's where we met, but that night was good. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room.